Right then fam, so we've entered this super crazy period where basically we've got websites coming up like Amazon, like PlayAsia and there'll be more going look 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 we got pre-orders for PlayStation 5 except that no because they haven't got a price, they haven't got a date, they haven't got nothing all they've got is a fancy page filled with speculation and images we've already seen except PlayAsia who've like put up game cases that don't exist you know and key art that doesn't exist for them you know it's like look at this box act ooh, which is basically just a screen grab with a logo slapped on it and pretend it to be a PlayStation box where it doesn't even have the coloration of a PlayStation 5 box <laughs> it's crazy because in the in the tiger economies intellectual property means nothing <laughs> it's crazy man it's crazy and like you know so basically these two sites are going like we want your clicks we want your clicks remember us you know it's like because they're basically sitting there going oh come by the pretty things remember us because we showed you the pretty things first so you'll come to the pretty things for us by the pretty things it's like it's kind of insidious but then that's clickbait it's the same tool that some youtubers use now you get some people in the YouTube audience who go like, I don't like clickbait, oh, you've made a clickbait title, that is wrong, I don't like your videos. And it's like, yeah, but the problem is, mate, right, now I personally, I don't use clickbait titles, I don't believe in them, I don't like them, but that's my choice. But I'll not go against another YouTuber for using them, because they work. If it didn't work, it wouldn't be a clickbait title. You clicked it because it piqued your interest and then you watched the video, didn't you? Aye. So, if you've clicked the video, you're watching the video, you've commented on the video, you've pro you, chances are, if you don't like it, you've downvoted it. Those are three separate forms, three separate forms of interaction with the video and that's what really counts in the YouTube algorithms is the interaction with the audience and chances are that person may have even watched the video all the way through because they want to know what else the guy says wrong in the video so then they can complain about it in the comment section thus making the comment even bigger thus increasing the algorithmic strength of the video and that's exactly the kind of stuff that Amazon is playing now and PlayAsia and whoever else comes along you know and there'll be eBay sellers and stuff and there'll be shops and there'll be Asda and Argos and Game and GameSpot you name it they'll all come swimming in and they'll all have their fancy screenshots go look 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 buy it from us because remember what you saw it you saw it here so come back here and spend your money because chances are we're getting ready to do a big recession so they want that money coming in and there's supposed to be stimulus package checks coming out in some countries so they want those stimulus packet checks getting going out in the bank straight out of the bank into their bank that's what they want and that's no bad thing because that keeps people in jobs and let's be fair and that's going to be a big thing is keeping people in jobs now there's only one way i can see around the current problem that exists and the problem that exists is basically you got microsoft and you got sony and microsoft they're going like well we had this conference and we showed off a bunch of games and sony goes i we had a conference and we showed off a bunch of games and we showed gameplay and we showed the system microsoft goes aye but we showed the system already and it's like that's where they go aye but once you have your show we'll do another show and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth as soon as they ask give them a bit of the price they both say nothing ridiculous we've entered a stupid state of affairs we've entered effectively a cold war where nobody will say nothing because they don't want the other guy to come in and cut them because as soon as one guy goes this is our price. The other will whoink, undercut. This is our price. Whoink, undercut. That is exactly what is going to happen. 
so nobody can come out and say a price because as soon as they do that's it it's game over for them they lose the console war at the first strike maybe not forever but the first strike first blood has been drawn because they got undercut now both ta companies have different ways of getting undercut and both companies have machines that when you get right down to it on paper are pretty much the same I mean yeah Microsoft's going we have the teraflops and it's like yeah okay you got all the teraflops but soon it's come and going I but we've got the engineering solutions. We've tinkered with this and tinkered with that and made that dead fast and this oh, we've got the sound of oh it's all technical and lovely and then a sleek futuristic case and ha <laughs> It's like um Microsoft have gone like but uh we've got smart delivery and Sony will come along and go Well we'll do that as well because they will go on something different but that's what they'll do because they'll look at the copy each other in any way that they can, but still maintain their own stamp of identity on whatever it is they do. Meanwhile, we're picking in the middle here, going like, uh, we just have the dates and the prices, please. So, I, Zenbrook, have a solution. You want to hear it? Of course you want to hear it, that's why you're here. Right? My solution is this. How we break the deadlock on the price war. It's quite simple, right? We get a big stage, all right? Have a broadcast. In the middle of the stage, we need an independent body. Best independent body I can think of in gaming currently, right now, right? Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keighley, him of the Game Awards. Jeff Keighley, him who's pals of Hideo Kojima. Je Jeff Keighley, the guy that brought Reggie Fees and me, Phil Spencer, and Adam Boys all on the same stage together to go, gaming is awesome. We all love gaming. He did that. So, I think it's perfectly feasible that you get him in the middle of a stage, and you get Herman Holst at one side, you get Phil Spencer at the other, they both come on, they both hand an envelope, right, and then basically they hand the envelope, they slice the envelope with a wee knife, put the envelope down, right, and there's a two camera view so you get in the top corner, you can see the top of the desk, so you can see the, the two envelopes, right, and then basically face down, it'll unveil envelope, well, it'll unveil envelope two, it'll pick up the cards, bring them up like that, one will have green text, one will have blue text, and they'll both have the price, and both prices will be exactly the same time. That's the only way you're going to solve this. Now, will my idea get out there? Will another YouTuber nick it? Will somebody else quote me and pass this on? Would it ever happen? Who's to say? But I think at this point, it's pretty much the only viable solution we have to this particular issue. Because right now, neither of these two companies is budging in. They're locked in a cold war. They're not going to give an, They're not going to tell the other one the price, but for fear of being undercut and for losing advantage in the news cycle. It's just a vicious, vicious circle. And we, the punters, are stuck in it. Also, we, the YouTubers, we're even more stuck in it because of you, you guys out there going, we need information. You guys give us information. Give us information. We go, we'd love to give you information, but we don't have it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, guys, right. Here's what you're going to do, okay? You're going to enter the competition. All right, because the competition, right, as it's running right now, it's got a few entries. Ends on the 23rd of October. I'm currently sitting at 349 subscribers. I need another 141 of you out there to subscribe to the channel, join the Zen fan, right? Enter that competition, and then two years out there, win a T-shirt 
of your choosing from my red bubble store. Okay, two years. But you have to remember if by the 23rd of October I am not at the magical 500, the competition will go away. So you have to get that entry in, alright? And you have to get other people entered. Need more subscribers, okay? And the more subscribers I do, the more things I can do with the channel. The more things I can do for you, okay? Second of all, of course, is uh, you've seen this hashtag as the weeks have gone by. Support Scottish YouTubers because we need your support. We don't get seen, we don't get noticed because we're in a little country and sometimes people don't understand our accent. So please do. And of course, as always, I never.